What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I got another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a widget app that has actually changed the game for me, and I think it'll do the same for you guys. I usually don't make videos on a single application, especially if it's not a stock Samsung application, but trust me, you're gonna to wanna to see this one. It actually allows you to turn any web page into a customizable widget for your Galaxy phone. We're gonna get into that. Before we do, I wanna remind you guys that if you're looking to save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, and uh, they have plans that fit every budget and also every data need. You can see right there, they got the four gigabyte plan for $15 a month, the 10 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month, and the unlimited plan, which I think is the best value for $30 a month. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also mobile hotspot included. It's very simple to switch. You can either go to their website and sign up for a three month plan and get an eSIM, or you can sign up for physical SIM. They'll send you out a SIM kit, also a physical SIM tool. Pop out your old SIM, swap in the mint SIM, and let the savings begin. I've been using the service here in Phoenix, Arizona on the unlimited plan now uh, for about six months, and I've really been enjoying the service on all my Galaxy phones including my new Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's a great time to switch if you're interested because right now, if you go to my link, which is mintmobile.com slash Springer and sign up for any three month Mint Mobile plan, I'll also send you out a smartphone case of your choice from any brand and for any phone. So it could be S23 Ultra from Urban Armor Gear, S23 Ultra from Spigen, S23 Ultra from Dbrand, whatever case you want, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. Sign up for a three month plan, then get in touch with me. I'm sending out the case. Mint is not sending it out directly. I'm doing it as a thank you to my subscribers for signing up. We appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel and uh, let's now get into today's video. So today's video, I'm gonna show you what the app is first and then we'll talk about how it works. The app is called Widgetify and it's um, very highly rated on the Play Store and it's something that's currently still being kind of developed and refined, but you can see um, it's really, really highly reviewed. I think a lot of people have kind of learned about it more recently because a lot of the reviews on the Play Store are fairly new reviews. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and add my three, my five-star rating. I'll go back and edit it later, but let me post a five-star rating right there um, because it is a great app and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use it. So you can see it was actually just updated on the 14th, which is today as I'm reviewing it. And what this allows you to do is to turn your phone basically into a web page monitor with a custom widget for each web page that you want to monitor on your home screen. So it's a very simple app. Uh, let me actually go ahead and take the update. The update before we open it. The update itself though doesn't really, you know, change most of the, the crazy features I'm gonna show you guys today, just improve some things. So let's open the um, Widgetify app. This is it right here. And you can see right here, it has a nice user manual and it tells you what it does. It's a widget based Android app periodically captures a section of a web page and display it as a widget. So I'll show you how I had set up first, then I'll talk about some more of the other features and what they plan to do in the future. I have it set up right here for a website that I check a lot. I actually have a couple of these uh, on other pages of my phone, but I'll focus on this one to show you some of the features. Uh, I check Droid Life a lot. It's one of my favorite Android news sites. Uh, it's been for a long time and I check it every day. So instead of having to open up the Chrome browser and go to Droid Life or go to my bookmark, Instead, I can just swipe over my home screen, swipe over, and then check what's brand new. Now you'll notice it only shows a portion of the page. So I can see their featured article and also their newest article. Now when you tap on this, you're also gonna get some other options here, which you can see you get open with web browser. So then I could go directly to the website, update now, which will allow me to go ahead and update the website, view logs, so I can see all of the updates, Configure, which lets me change the portion of the website that I want to capture. I'll show you guys how to set up a new widget in just a second. And I can change some of the settings and I can even share, you know, save this particular website, etc. And this takes me back to the global menu, which we were talking about before. So you can update all your window, you know, all your widgets, add a new widget, do the default settings. So before I show you some of the other settings, let me actually show you how to, let me go in here and uh, add another page to which I will then add another widget from Widgetify. And uh, you see the two options here. This is the bigger one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. And then when you click here, so you can actually make it as big as you want. You can make it the whole page. Uh, you can go ahead and long click to resize or configure. So you can see here, 
Once you click it, it's gonna let you go to any web page that you want. So again, uh, let's just choose another website that I visit all the time, which is ESPN.com. It's a website I check all the time for sports. And uh, let's say that I just wanna see kind of what are the most recent top headlines. So I could take this portion right here of the website, and then I could make this the portion that I'm going to clip. Now it tells you it's changing because of course most web pages are changing because they got ads and stuff like that on there. You can choose the dark theme to make it a dark web page. If you like to have the dark theme consistent with the theme on your phone, which I do, um, allow location access, and you can also run it in desktop mode if you want the desktop portion of the page. Now you can also go further into the settings. And this is why I wanted to show you. You can change the update interval. I usually don't like to do it just every 24 hours. I usually like to do it a little more recently than that, maybe like every three or four hours. So then I can view my sports scores, whatever update. You can schedule to update specific times. You can also change this so that it will notify you whenever there's a change of let's say more than 50%, it will then notify me. Now this can be a little tricky because it will change even if there's one pixel that changes. So sometimes I don't like to use it for this purpose because if there's a page that has a lot of ads on it, then you can of course have this problem where it will update you because the ad page changed. You can also choose to turn this on or off the updates for do not disturb, skip updating on certain days of the week, like on the weekends if you don't wanna check certain pages that are related to your job, and also whether or not you wanna have this during the low battery you know, if you want to have it on power saving mode, etc. You can also choose the theme that you want, um, whether or not you want the shadow, the one without the shadow. You can have the title bar style, so you can do whatever kind of title you want. The subtitle, um, the capture delay, all these different things with how it actually pulls the web page, um, the click tolerance, whether or not it uses cache, so basically whether it's going to save any information. All of that stuff can be done right there. So it's really, really cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. Once you actually configure this, you know, you can go wherever you want. Once you configure it, you'll clip the web page and then save it to add it to your final page. I mean, I, I went away from there, so I'll just save Google for now and show you kind of what it looks like. Once you save it, it's gonna look like that. I accidentally hit the back button there. But anyway, you can do this with any page you want um, and it will go there, save it, refresh it exactly when you tell it to. So if you have a bunch of pages that you check every day, it's great to add these widgets and then you can just thumb through them in the morning. In fact, one thing you could do is you could use One Hand Operation Plus from Samsung to actually have a set of widgets that you swipe through over here because of course you can add whatever widgets you want to the One Hand Operation Plus widget stack. Um, and that's pretty awesome because then you could add a widget here for Widgetify and then you could put your web page over there in your One Hand Operation Plus, slide out those web pages you want to check, thumb through them, and then you'll be good to go. So a lot of cool things you could do to integrate this with your Samsung device. Um, there's a lot of instructions here how to do some more uh, advanced things, and I can certainly make a video. This is mainly an intro video to this app, to kind of gauge interest, see if people like it. Um, it doesn't work perfectly on all web pages. You can read some of his FAQs, all the web pages I've used for it works for my purposes, which is pulling information and kind of checking it periodically throughout the day that I use for researching YouTube videos, staying up to date with Samsung news and things like that. Um, but I highly recommend trying it. It's by far one of the most useful widget apps that I've found in a long time because it lets you turn any web page you want into its own widget. Uh, it doesn't cost money either. It's a free one, has tiny little ads at the bottom. There is no paid version. I kind of wish there was because I don't like having ads in my apps. I'd rather pay $1.99 to get rid of them, $2.99, whatever. But it is a paid uh, free app with no paid option. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you tried out how you like this application. A reminder again, if you guys want to save some money on your wireless, go to uh, mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's up here at the top in the pinned comment description. If you sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan, get in touch with me. I'll get you a free case, any case you want for any phone. Uh, just hit me up on Twitter or email. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.